Happy Tuesday, Linda. It's Happy Tuesday, Tuesday. Right? Yep. Tuesday seems like payday. Today, Tuesday's payday. So we've got a payroll question for today then. Uh, we've got uh, Bronco Billy is asking about how do I post in QuickBooks when an employee repays a debt to my company? Well, we got to help Bronco Billy, don't we? We do. Um, you're, you're the payroll guru, so what's what's the suggestion on this? Well, I can tell you that you're going to need to make a, a payroll item that goes in their paycheck. So I'm glad you got this open. We can go right to it. Okay. Um, so basically, we've gone into payroll for QuickBooks Online. Yep. I'm going to hit edit for pay. And then we'd have the add deduction, right? Correct. Choose deduction. Deduction type. We're going to put other. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to choose... Uh, loan repayment, or you can add something else on if you wanted. Um, so we always we take advantage of the description of purpose. We're always going to put in the date of the first payment, the amount uh, of the total to be repaid, and then the amount to be taken per check. That helps us recognize if we have to go back and reconcile the information. It helps us do that, so we can be sure you know at the end of the year if it was to carry over, we need to reset the correct amount. <laughs> For the next year so it doesn't repopulate the full amount that's and right on the employee stuff too which is good it lets them have clarification on stuff. so if we did that it would be 300 auto 75 and so basically i was putting the date 300 borrowed 75 which would be the same thing here instead of doing percentage gross we're going to put 75 mm -hmm. Annual amount, 300, okay? And as we were talking about, when you set this up, the, one of the key things to remember is if this carries over to the next year, this is an annual maximum amount. So if you only paid off, let's say, three payments before the end of the year, you'd end up in the next year, it would automatically go back up to 300. So you do these memos to make sure you can calculate what the balance should be as of January 1st because you need to set up a new loan as of January 1st with just the remaining amount to be paid. Right. Um, so similarly, if it was paid off, you need to turn it off so it doesn't re-up on its own too. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. And the loan has to be a liability. It's a loan. It's not an expense because I've seen that on people's file, people's uh, chart of accounts, people make an employee uh, loan expense. The loan is a liability. It's not an expense. So you have to make sure you have that correct account too. That's a good point. So what you're talking about there is, let's say you're writing a check out to the person for the 300 to begin with. Uh -huh. The way you categorize that to initially start would be, um, there's actually usually like a employee advance account Yeah. that whatever you map that to, you would then go in and set up under your payroll settings that that loan gets mapped to that specific account also. Correct. Um, and that looks like, we'll go out of this setup here. Boom, payroll settings. And you would do your, uh, let's see here, accounting. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's always under accounting. Yeah. So here's where you would map the different details out, the different people. Um, and you'd have a special account just for the actual um, items coming off of that. Long, right. So hopefully that helps. So it's a couple steps to it, right? Make sure that you put the expense in the right the first time. Make sure when you put the loan into payroll that you tag the right account behind it for the payroll. That'll make sure it mash, meshes and you actually get it zeroed back out. Uh, and if you do that, you're good to go. You should be good. Happy payday. Happy payday. <laughs> Happy loan repayment day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week. See ya. Bye now.